Hi, my name is Omolo, and uh, let's continue from where we left on our Azure Static uh, Web Apps. In our last video, we had implemented a simple application that had only one page, and that is what we have here. And also, it had uh, this was our home page. Now, I've made some changes to the code, and now we have more than one page. And the essence of doing this is to show you how you can implement efficient routing after, uh, when you deploy your code to Azure Static Web Apps. Let me show you the update. So I have my local dev environment running here at localhost port 5173. So I will run this control and click to open it on the browser. Now, this is the applet that we have. It's loading. It's called Njia Digital. So Njia Digital is just a sample website I'm building for the purpose of this tutorial. And now we have more than one page. Now our landing page is now what we have here or what we call the home page. And then if you scroll down, we have uh, other cards and everything. And now I added one more page or one more view, what we call the resources page. If I click on resources, now we have what was previously our home page. And that is the update that I've implemented to help showcase how to implement efficient routing when dealing with static web applications on Azure static web apps. Now I am in the resources endpoint or route and if I refresh here, there's no problem with this, right? But you will uh, realize that once I deploy it to, once I deploy the changes to our Azure resource, when you refresh, when you're in an endpoint, you will get a 404 error or a resource not found. That is what we want to implement. Now, the next step for me to do is to push our changes to GitHub. So what I'll do, let's take the status of our Git, Git status. And we see that we have the new page, which is here. And uh, yeah, so next you want to add these changes. Git add, then git commit all these changes. And my message is I ended landing page. And then after that, we want to push these changes to our target branch. How do we do that? Git push our origin URL to which branch? Main branch, because that is what our workflow for the CI CD using GitHub Actions targets the main branch. So in this case, any change pushed to the main branch, will uh, it will re rebuild and deploy these changes to Azure Static Web Resource. So press enter. Let's see, could not, uh, the origin of there's a typo here it should be git push origin we are missing an i here i press enter yeah so this should push the changes to our recent our repo i mean so i'll go to our repo go to my github github.com fantastic now in github.com, what I want to do is to go to my repository. Now remember our repo was code and zip, so click on that. Fantastic. And now we should see our changes once they are pushed here. Let's go back to our VS code and see. Okay, so we have some updates. So the first thing we want to do is to pull all these updates. Git pull origin main we want to first pull pull them and then push them together okay so that should happen real quick now we just need to set how the conflicts are being resolved i'll just copy that I just config pull.rebase false, copy and paste. Press enter and then now pull again. Pull that again. Now that will uh, pull all the changes that we had in our upstream to our local JIT, fantastic. At this point, just press Ctrl X to merge all the changes. Now, if you see our .github folder here, now what we have here is uh, 
two workflows. Remember the one of these workflows is the one that we had used to deploy from VS Code. So let me check so that we can delete one workflow. Let me check Happy Mushroom is what we are using for our deployment. So coming back to my VS Code, I will uh, delete uh, Brave Bay. So right click and delete Brave Bay. Fantastic. And then just to track the changes once again, I will do JIT. Let me clear up once again and maybe also zoom in so that uh, you can see my window clearly. Okay, uh, one more time, let's go back. Okay, one more time. There, yeah, that will be okay. So at this point, I just want to track the changes that we already made here. I can click on that. And then this is the change, I can add the change. And then I want to commit this change. Maybe I can use Copilot to do that. Let me see if my copilot is working. Okay, I think my copilot is disabled, so I removed the old workflow. Then commit. Then I want to sync the changes. So syncing changes simply means it's now pushing all those changes to our origin main. Same as doing it in the command line. Now, if those changes are deployed, if you go back to our GitHub here, we should be able to see, let me refresh. If I refresh our workflow, our repository here, it should reflect the recent changes. They should have been committed right now. So coming back again to the repo, let me refresh. Amazing. Now you see uh, our push was made like one minute ago. And this has triggered our workflow. Now you see it's here and it's pending here. Now if I come to the actions tab, you see it's now building and it will redeploy it automatically. There's something much you need to do if you set up your application correctly. So we can in fact inspect what we have and the process that is going on here. Now the current process is build and deploy. You can still click on that to see step by step how everything is happening here. Now you see first it set up the job, building Azure, running the actions. Now it's building and deploying. So once this is done, of which it should be done in a few. If you go back to our um, URL here, which is uh, the live URL, we can demo and see that the changes are actually pushed. So let's just observe keenly and closely. So this is the last step, should be complete in a few. As you can see that it's done and now we have the Mac, uh, green mark check here showing that the build is complete. Let's go back to our Azure portal and uh, go to what we call the deployment center. Deployment center. Let's see if we have it here. Or oh, coming here. Let's see. Let's see what we have. We have the routes. We have what else we have monitoring and everything. So the overview will show us what we need to see. Let me refresh. I'm refreshing on uh, Azure. Let me refresh that. Fantastic. So we have uh, our recent push which will be now be active. Now, how can we confirm that it's deployed? So let's come back to our live URL here and uh, let me refresh. 
amazing now if i refresh you see that now we have our recent changes that is there ninja digital as our landing page and then if you go to resources it should now show us the resources which was initially our landing page and now take note of something here if i refresh this page you see we get a 4 of 4 not found simple so the next step is to show you how this is solved right now to solve this you need to understand something let me go back to our vs code i'll go back to the vs code code that we have here so once i'm in the vs code right here you need to understand that we need to have what we call handle fallback routes so how do we do that you do that by creating a file in the root directory here and that file should be called static web apps static web apps dot config dot json once you have it there you want to copy this configuration here let me show you what you need to have there you need to have this configuration so what happens is that uh, when you refresh you will see a 404 error this is because the browser sent some request to the hosting platform to serve the routes which is the resource routes but remember there's no page on the server named routes but this is an easy way of resolving this by just creating the static web apps.config.json file and then having a fallback route here so what happens here uh this is some kind of custom routing it will if we have any route that is not being served directly by the server it it will be routed back to index.html so you just need to again track your changes git add git commit let's call it uh, fallback routes then git push so this another change now we'll uh, it will push and then we go back to our github to confirm that the changes are there and then we wait for our actions to build and then we can refresh again to see if that solves our problem fantastic so our changes are pushed let's go back to github coming back to github mm -hmm. code and zip We have the change just now in the fallback routes go to actions in our actions the normal workflow are running click on build and deploy just to track the progress now it's almost should be done in a few let's see what we have let's see what we have once this is done this should be done uh, amazing building for production and there we go i think we should now have our changes built and deployed to our same azure resource just in a few just in a few that should be done amazing complete complete we have our green check here so let's go back to our url and refresh uh, we give it more time to maybe pick up the changes fantastic so we have uh, Ninja digital as the landing page go to resources where we have our resources and if we refresh if we refresh Why is this wait wait let's give it time to pick up the changes let's give it time to pick up the changes static web apps that config that json uh, i think that is what we need to have oh there's a typo here should be static web app not dot config not web apps sorry so just a quick change uh We'll rename this file that's static web app
and then you commit the changes and then you say rename commit okay delete commit then we can sync the changes okay sorry uh, that was a typo it should be static web app that was a typo so we wait for the changes to be pushed here let me refresh <laughs> let me refresh Great, the changes are up, and I hope our new change is building. Let's see. Go to actions. Oh, right, all right, we have it there. We have it there. We'll wait for that to build, and once it's built, everything should be back to working. Now, you see, you need to take really... Uh, Keen interest in checking how you name that file. It should be static web app that config that is so not plural. Config web app, not config web apps. Sorry for that typo. And now, here we go. Here we go. This should take a few minutes and it should be done. Just a few minutes and it should be done. Just a few minutes and that should be done. Okay. Let's go. One minute, one second. Let's see how long it takes to build that. Amazing that it's done. And so our build is complete and we have back the green. So let me go back and refresh. Amazing. Now you see the problem is solved. If I navigate back to a home page, everything works. I go to a resources page, everything works. If I refresh, if I refresh, look at this. It's refreshing and everything should still work. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and uh, see you in the next uh, episode of Azure. It was your favorite uh, Azure enthusiast, Omolo. Osago Codes, signing out.